Get ready to match the stars. Joey Bishop, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Arlene Francis, Richard Dawson, and Joyce Bulafont as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Raver. Let me see. Oh, oh there. Oh. Tray shake. Thank you. It's oh. not a wrinkle it, on you. It's brand new. It is really. Points are missing. Well, that's the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us don't have no points there. You want to say hello to Tad Larson over there? Oh, hello. Right, hello, hello, Tad Larson. Hi. How are you? Fine. Tad is excited. He's already won $1,300. And he's going to have a go at the uh, audience match now where he could win over $5,000. And we wish him the very best of luck. And we'll start that right after we finish this. Ready here with Tad Larson. He's going to have a go at the super match where he could win over $5,000. Ready, Tad? I'm ready. Here we go. We polled a recent studio audience. And we got their best response to this. Blank tune. Got it. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it. If you match the answer they gave second most frequently, you get 250 and the third 100. All right, whom do you call on here? Uh, Richard. Cartoon. Cartoon is one. Mm -hmm. um, what well, with Joyce again? How about Joyce? I, I don't know how you spell this. Spelling doesn't count. Say it. Cartoon. What? what? Not spittoon. Patoon. Spittoon. That's platoon. a good one, too. Yeah, that's important. Single file of soul. Mm -hmm. What do you want? You Are you saying platoon? Platoon. Platoon. Is that spelled like that? Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. P-L-A-T-O-O-N. Platoon. I'll take it. Platoon. Hut. Ha. Hut. Oh. Really. What? And Joy? Have you got one? Yeah. Of course I've got one. Well, third is a tough position. He's... Huh? I'm, you want me to give it to you now? Yeah, you say it out loud. When he oh, says I'm your sorry. name, then you, you don't have to show it. Then you throw that away. Now just say whatever you answer is to the young man, sweetheart. Now go ahead. Somebody promised you a long life and you're getting careless. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, what do you say here? Yeah. I said Looney. Looney, Looney Tune. <laughs> so, Ted, you have Looney Tune, you have Platoon, and you have Cartoon. I'm going to go with Cartoon. That was my first Cartoon is your first go? That's Richard's answer. Let's find out if Cartoon is up there. And if it is there, where is it? That is the question. Is it under the $100 response, I ask you now? Looney Tune. See, Who gave you that? Joey gave me that one. Okay. That's a good omen. 250 coming up now. Let's see if it says Cartoon. Spit Tune. I mentioned it, but I didn't. You didn't say it. <laughs> Last chance for cartoon. Here's the five hundred dollar number. Cartoon it is. Congratulations. Good. You pick up an additional five hundred dollars. That means your grand total now is up to eighteen hundred dollars. But more important than that, Ted, you're going to play for ten times five hundred or five thousand dollars. Now to collect, remember you got to match. One of them exactly, and it's time to choose one now. I can't play this one. I did well with Richard before. I'm going to go with Richard again. All right. We all say know. that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that way he gets a chance. That way he gets a chance to kiss Joyce again. Right. If he wins, there are good thinking there. All right. You face me if you would, please, Ted. Please. Here please. it is. It's worth five thousand dollars. Ready? Ready. Get on the blank. Get on the blank are the three words I'm saying. All right, he's finished. He made up his mind very quickly, Tad. So did I. And I hope you've got your ESP going between you. Get on the ball. Get on the ball. Okay. That's what he says is going to match you for $5,000. What do you say? I guess you don't get a kiss. You don't get a kiss? Ball. Thank you. 
You now got six thousand eight hundred dollars. Oh! How do you feel? Rich. Dad says he feels rich. Isn't that wonderful, Joey? You have something to say? Yeah. Why didn't you let Joyce give you the right answer, and then you can kiss Richard? <laughs> I don't think he wants to kiss Richard. I don't think Richard wants to kiss him. Let's meet another player. Ready for that? Ready. Let's welcome Marsha Buford. Okay, when it stops, Cat. Climb aboard. Hello, Marsha. Hi, that was fun. That was fun? Yeah. You mean the ride around yeah. there? Well, I'm glad you enjoyed Would you like to go around again? Yeah. Can we send her back and go around again? Would that goof anything up there? Let's go for a little ride. Won't make it work? There it goes. Come back, Marcia! Come back! Now. While he was away, some mail came for him. Oh, he wants to shake your hand, Richard. He wants to shake your hand for uh, helping him win the $5,000. Okay. All right, Marsha, you've been around the track twice now. Right. Now we got to find out who you are. Marsha Buford. Marsha Buford. Right. Hey. Marsha Buford. Martin? She knows her name. That's hey, a Marcia. good step. And? And I live in Woodland Hills. I'm a secretary, and I've been married to a wonderful man for six and a half years. Lucky still. Okay. What happened? <laughs> All right. <laughs> How do you ever type a letter? <laughs> look at this. Look at the link. I broke that one. You broke one. Yeah. You don't type, do you? Yeah. You do type. Yeah. Very carefully. Very right. carefully, right. <laughs> All right, Marsha, the best of luck to you. Thank you. And here we go. A or B? B. B it is. New game. B for Buford. Marvin said, this is the weirdest funeral I've ever attended. The deceased is being buried holding his blank. <laughs> <laughs> sit down, my dear, sit down. The old train, calamity clap, a ray, 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 ray. Now you, you write an answer down there and stop this foolishness. <laughs> Weird funeral. Weird funeral. Yeah. The deceased was How buried, was holding his blank. Gotcha. Put your little thing in your little thing. All right. Everybody ready up there? Joyce, we're waiting for you. I'm trying so hard to think of the answer. Good, my dear. <laughs> She's improving. Her fever's gone down. She's going to be all right. Oh, she smells so good. Mm. That's the best part oh, of me. Terrific. I would say that. Come on, Joyce. I You're holding up the parade. Smell it. In there. All right, we'll put it in. We'll figure it out there. Yeah, you have. I can't read it. Oh, Marsha. Marsha. Oh, Marsha. Yes, Jerry. Marvin said this is the weirdest funeral I've ever attended. The deceased is being buried holding his blank. Mother? Holding his mother? No. I don't know if it was that weird, Marsha. <laughs> How weird was this funeral, Joey? You know, I, I've never done this before. I've never played before. I just thought, logically, what would be a weird funeral? The deceased holding his head up. That would be weird. That would be weird. That's good. I like that one, Brett. He said, I ain't going without you. He was buried with his wife. Holding his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Loved her till the end, Charles. I said his wallet. Holding his wallet. <laughs> He's Such a very a mercenary little interesting devil. answers here. Give us another interesting answer. <gasps> well, he was just wanted to be informal. He was holding his hat. Holding his hat. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> All right, Marsh is looking for the answer. Mother. <laughs> I know I died. He was holding his breath. <laughs> <laughs> you know they do that so long. <laughs> and they buried him holding his nose. Holding his nose. Another All right. Now here's uh, speaking of weirdos. We come to Who Joyce. Said, uh -oh, What's here her we name? Go. Yeah. I love funeral jokes. They're so funny. Come on now. I said holding is. I don't know how you spell this, but this is what you always Where have you see at this funerals. Spelling? 
It could be hold. I could have written holding a snapdragon. I said holding his calla lily. Calla lily. <laughs> No. Wait a minute. I want to save the spelling. C O W A, Kawa Lily. You never. <laughs> Kawa Lily. You talk baby talk right to the end, don't you? Kawa Lily. You're Chinese. You're very strange. How do you parents, spell? How do you spell it? Her parents spent forty-eight thousand dollars on her education. <laughs> C A L L A. Calla Lily. Calla Lily. Hello, mother. Hello, the father. The Calla Lilies are, are in bloom again. <laughs> Such a lovely father. They, they reminded me of one who was very kind to me once. <laughs> All right. Now, Marcia, you did great with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll get better. Oh, okay. Okay. Now we got to stop right now. Do a little business with America. Pay attention, America. In your absence, we were discussing the philosophies of Schopenhauer <laughs> and Spinoza. Now, we carry on here with the second half of round one. Tab, this is your question. Everyone plays. Hey, do you hear about the big triple wedding? Uh-uh. No, what happened? Let me tell you about it. The three Andrews sisters married the three blanks. Big triple wedding. Three Andrews sisters married the three blanks. What do they call us, though? You're just incredible. Oh, yes, sirree. <laughs> That's it. Good for you. Very good. Good, Arlie. Wonderful. Ted, you hear about the big triple wedding? No, tell me about it. I'll tell you about it. The three Andrews sisters married the three blanks. Stooges. Stooges. They're yaying him. Yeah. I hope I get a little bit of a yay, because I said the same thing that he said. Stooges. Stooges. Him, Brett. Well, just keep it rolling along, huh? They're yay and her. Everybody getting yay, Charles. Three little pigs. <laughs> <laughs> now, that was another good choice. Three little pigs was not bad. How about you? Well, it wasn't a good choice for the Andrews sisters. That's you true. <laughs> now, I have the Stooges with them. You have the Stooges. Three for ten. The three Andrews sisters marry the three Stooges, according to Tad Larson and everybody else so far. Joey, Brett, and Charles, the three Stooges. <laughs> Joey, Brett, and Charles. Four for Tad. Oh, you didn't. I did it right. You did? Yeah. Well. <laughs> Will wonders never cease, I say she did it. Oh, there it is. Round two, Marcia, it's up to you. B, please. B. All right. Okay, Marsha. No, no, we're rolling. The ship's doctor yes. <laughs> said to Long John Silver, uh, No wonder your wooden leg's been bothering you. You've got a blank in it. <laughs> ship's doctor speaking to Long John Silver, No wonder your wooden leg's been bothering you. You've got a blank in it. Good. Now, that's a good one. I don't care what anybody says. That's a good one. All right. All right. I don't want to change it. All right. That's better. All right. Charles, here we go. Marsha, the ship's doctor said to Long John Silver, no wonder your wooden leg's been bothering you. You've got a blank in it. A nail. A nail. What do you say? What, are you auditioning for me? Yes. <laughs> I tried not to do the obvious. I said a termite. Termite is very good. <laughs> termite would hurt. Now, you've got to match all of the remaining celebrities to stay in the game. Now, Brett, you're up. Yes, dear. She's looking for a nail. What? A nail in a wooden leg. I wish I were dead. Why? You don't say nail in a wooden leg? I said he had a splinter. Splinter is good. So that means Ted wins another game. What the rest of you there? Nail, nail, termite, termite. Okay, Ted, come on down. Once again, congratulations to you. What is that? The third game you've won? Uh, how many games have you won? Third. Three games, right. Okay. Marcia, it was a pleasure meeting you, my dear. Good. You've got gifts for you, together with our thanks. Hope you enjoy the ride back. I will. Enjoy the ride in. There goes Marcia Buford. While she's spinning off, we'll spin these messages just for you. Today's consolation prizes are from Amarok.
A beautiful Monterey collection of Max Hardware designed to give your home a distinctive touch. Amarok, a leading name in total home decorative hardware. And a deluxe kit of Artex Roll-On Decorator Paste, a complete home and fashion decorator paint in the tube from Artex Hobby Products. And a deep fryer and golden dip. Quality meat, seafood, and chicken is served as fine bread. You're not leftover crumbs. You can bake or fry with golden dip. Bad, bad black sheep. Have you any blank? <laughs> we'll find out when Max Game 76 starring Gene Rayburn returns in a minute. Tad Larson up here for the third time. He's got a total of $6,900 at this moment. And now he's going to try for another bundle over 5000 You ready, Tad? Ready. Okay. Here we go. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank worry. Now, the answer that studio audience gave most often is worth $500 if you match it. If you match that second most frequently given answer, you get $250. The third gets you $100. Now, you're allowed to get a little assist here from three of our celebrities. Whom do you call it? Uh, Richard, please. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> used to be a little cartoon uh, person yes. uh, in Mad Magazine, right. Al Alfred Newman. His motto was, why worry? Ah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. <coughs> now, that, uh, well, I we, must tell you, this gentleman has $6,900. Yes, he? right. Why would he worry if I gave him a bad answer? <laughs> why worry? Okay, that's it. But There's first, one. a few impressions. Choice. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, Brett? Do worry. <laughs> don't worry. Do worry. Why? What do we have here? Anything we got interesting here? Why? We have don't, don't worry. Why worry? Do. Oh, all right. Do worry. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let me think. There has to be one. One and Worry. And now for her next number. <laughs> <laughs> worry, it. worry. <laughs> we make fun, but you never can tell. No, we got to go with your first response. Why worry? Don't, don't worry, worry. And do, do worry. worry. Do worry. <laughs> I don't Thanks, believe. Dick. I don't believe these celebrities. Oh, these are not easy ones to do. That's right. Okay. What about now, what Ted, worry? you've got a decision to make here, and I dare say it's a difficult worry. one for you. What do you say to this? You want one of those, or have you got a better one here? Have you thought of anything? These three answers sound really good. I think I'm going to go with Joyce this time. Yeah, uh, with Don't Worry. Don't Worry. Four. Four. All right. She's right. Don't don't worry worry here. Here. I don't want to worry. You so. don't want to worry here? You want to stay cool and loose? Huh? Okay. <laughs> well, he's, he thought about this very carefully now, and he said Don't Worry is the one he wants, and he hopes it's up there under the oh, $500 why number. Worry. Why worry? What the heck? <laughs> yeah. Let's look at the $100 number. What? Me uh, worry? Ah, that's said. what I used to say. <laughs> that's what I meant to you say. Know, I was that close. You were that close. But you know, I, you stopped me dead in my tracks. I knew Alfred E. Newman said, what? Me worry? Why didn't you tell me that? Well, I couldn't correct you on the air. That would be like me giving you an answer. Could I have done oh, that? Oh, well I then. Would... No, I couldn't have done that, Okay, you see? well, maybe why worry will come up as well, and I'll be <laughs> hey, well, Ted, ahead of the game. Ted, why don't you go wait in the car till these two guys are through <laughs> with whatever they're doing, Ted? No, we're looking for Don't Worry, yeah. and we're going to reveal Why worry? the $250 response. Why, Why worry? worry? Thank you. Bravo. We're both right. That's right, we're both right. Excuse me. Yes. Joey? Yeah. <laughs> Was that an opinion? Of course. <laughs> now, here's the last chance for Don't Worry. May we see the $500 response? Yeah! Oh, you've got it. Congratulations. Now you've got a kiss with it. Joyce gave it to you. Very good. Wait a minute, Gene. He's got a kiss with it. No. No, the only time he gets a kiss is when he wins a big money. And we don't know whether he's going to win the big money. Well, yet. let him kiss Richard anyhow. Well, he's, <laughs> no. he's got a lot of money now. If he wants to kiss me, it's okay. Oh, really? <laughs> You don't want him to try for the 5000 Yeah, I That's do. That's what he's going to do then now. He he's going to try for $5,000. If you win this, yeah. it'll give you a grand total of $12,400. That's a lot of loot. All right, now you have to pick one celebrity. Match that person exactly. I've been scoring with Richard in the past, so let's see if we can connect again. I've been scoring with Richard in the past, so let's see if we can connect again. I thought we had an agreement you were going to say nothing about that. But my motto is, why worry? <laughs>
Okay. You know, you started to say that I've been scoring with Richard, and now I'd like to score with Joyce. I want to drive, but you're going right back to Richard there. Okay, all right, Ted, if you're ready, that's your decision. Here it is, worth $5,000. Suit of blank. S-U-I-T. Suit of blank. All right, he's finished. Tad Larson. Get your ESP going and give us an answer which you think will match his exactly and collect another $5,000 for you. Suit of armor. Armor. I wouldn't have said that. If I were playing this game, I would have said suit of armor. What would you would say? You? I would have said suit of armor. Well, a suit, a of, uh, suit of clothes is what I would have said. There is a very famous biblical saying, a suit of many colors. Oh, really? You don't know that? No, I don't know that. It's under armor. Armor! Congratulations! $12,400. Give the little lady a kiss. <laughs> All right, here. Let's do a little business with America. Let you come right back, okay? Congratulations. Team Revenue, goodbye. Join us next time. This is Johnny Olsen speaking for Match Game 76, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Stay tuned to Tattletales next over most of the CBS stations.